Hello guys, welcome to the debug arena. In this video, I am going to tell you everything about SHE key, SHE fingerprint, how it works. Also, we are going to solve the error auth slash missing client identifier, which occurs when we send requests to the Firebase from our React Native application or any other application. Also, we are going to see how can you generate and view your SHE key. So, without any delay, let's get started. You can see here that this is a basic registration page. Here I had written code to verify a mobile number. So when I enter any phone number, like currently I am uh, writing any random number and when I click on verify, you can see here we are getting error or missing client identifier. This simply means that Firebase is unable to recognize that which app or client is sending him the request. So to solve this, the SHE fingerprint comes into the picture. SHE fingerprint is a type of unique key given to the application so that when that key is given to the Firebase, Firebase will understand that they have to accept the request from that source only. So to know this better, let's see. This is, a, this is the project which I have linked to that application. Here you have to go to project setting. And below here you can see that there is no fingerprint added. So you have to get your SHG key and add it here. So let's see how can you do that. So let's move on to the application. This is my react application, name book application. Open the terminal, new terminal. Here you have to enter this command. I will be uh, keeping this command in the description. So, the, uh, so first run this command. When you run this command, you will get your SHG key. You can see here, I am getting my SHG 1 key and 256 key. Now just copy this. Control C and paste it in the add fingerprint and save it now I will just reload my application now let's enter any number and click on verify You can see that it is working now. Error is gone. So in this way, uh, you can use your SHA fingerprint to get the response from the Firebase. Now let's move on to the another part. To get the SHA key, there should be a file named debug.keystore in your Android and app. So suppose you don't have this file, like you had uh, haven't generated that file you have to generate it in every application so let's see this i deleted that debug.keystore file and running this command again you can see here i am getting error like keystore file does not exist and also i will be not be able to verify the firebase again so how can you generate the keystore file for that there is another command. Just let me clear this. So, for this, there is uh, this command key tool gen key. Copy this command and paste it here. It will ask some details about you. Sorry, sorry. First, go to uh, Android folder. Then go to app. And then run this command and enter your details. I'll just keep all this. Yes. After this process, you can see here that uh, debug.keystore has been generated. So if you want to generate a new keystore file, you can generate like this. Now, again, I'm going to run that uh, SHJ key command. But you will notice that we will not get same SHG key. 
like I am running this and see you and you can see here the SSH key is different so whenever you have to generate a new SSH key you can try this way but now you have to first uninstall your application from your mobile reinstall it and you have to change the SSH key in firebase to work it properly so first I will be un uninstalling my app then running this command again now I have installed the app again now let's verify the number when I do so you can see that uh, again this error is occurring why it is occurring now as you can see here we are given the SHA fingerprint of the previous one the current fingerprint is actually different like let me just again run the command now let's regenerate uh, our SHG key I'm running this command and you can see here the new SHG key which we had got after debug.qstore just copy it go to here uh, here add fingerprint and then just paste it then save Delete the previous one, uh, delete the previous SHG key. And now just reload the app. After reloading, again verify the number. and now you can see it is working fine so in this way you can generate regenerate your SHG key and use it anywhere and regenerate it for uh, every application let me show you by verifying it now I am entering the OTP I had received so you can see here it is giving message of success so you can uh, in this way you can verify it Always remember that the you uh, this is the application which is running on debugging mode. So whenever you are releasing your uh, release APK, you have to generate this SSG key ag again and provide it to the Firebase. Then only it will work. Otherwise, it will show the same error. So always keep it, keep that in mind. After generating all the things like release and uh, debug key. You can run this command to see all the SHA key provided to that application. So go to go to Android folder and there run this command. You can see here, you can see here I had got all the SHA key. Not all actually, there is only one SHA key. So on the top you can see a debug debug and the, your SHG key. Also when you will generate SHG key for release it will be shown here. So in this way you can generate SHG key, regenerate it and use it in Firebase to get the proper response from the Firebase. Thank you for watching the video. Please like share and subscribe.